I'm Shanna and I'm putting together short sequences for everybody to get an opportunity to get some nap time and hopefully we stay within 10 minutes. So if you don't have a lot of time, you don't have 60 minutes, 80 minutes, whatever, that's what we're here to do and practice and just get some flexibility in our bodies and our back and our mind. So without any further ado, let's get going. I have a blanket if you have one, awesome. If you don't, no big deal. And come into child's pose right off the bat. Open your knees really wide. Let your big toes touch if you can. If your knees are cranky, that blanket is there for your knees if that works for you. And lock your hands out. And drop your head and chin down and sit back on your heels the best you can. And take a couple of breaths there. Forehead down, gaze down, neck releasing. And after three long breaths, increase your distance here with your fingertips. Lift up, lift your wrists up, push your armpits down, push your triceps down, push the, all the flesh underneath your underarms down and we drop your head, we fold it down. Tuck your chin. And do your best to broaden through your shoulders, to broaden through your back. Um, and then take maybe three breaths there, just short, just simple. Just a little bit of time to open up chest and back and underarms. And then slide your palms down again. Take your knees together and come to seated. You take Swasti Kasama. Walk your feet far apart. Have your shins in a line as best as you can. I'm, I'm not super flexible, just a little bit. So, of course, this isn't the easiest pose for me either. Lift up your ribs, anchor down through your backside, and then lock your fingertips up so you're comfortable. Maybe your forearms, maybe that blanket comes into play now and you can rest your forearms and hands and whatever down and drop your chin. And energetically, really root down through your backside through what a really overused term in yoga is your sits bones. Drop down, drop heavy, and then soften your navel back and push down a little bit more. And push your elbows down and feel expansive through your lower back and through your buttocks and flex your feet a bunch. And then we'll come back, but we're gonna go over now. And you can walk your right hand out, pull your ribs back, and then take your left hand behind. And take a little gaze up, maybe tense your fingers, and then pull your ribs up and in, and gentle and easy. Inhale, and then exhale. Use your elbow to guide you down and over. And then heavy down through that left hip, through the left buttock, roll it back, and then walk your fingertips over. And depending on how comfortable and flexible you are, you might be able to get your right forearm down. You might have to walk that left one out. Big inhale. Come on, Santa. Walk through, walk through, walk through, walk through. All the way over, tense your fingers, lift up. Take a big sweep. Keep your hand behind your head again. And then you're just gonna open. You're shining your elbow up and underarm up. Head down to your Right hip, right buttock, shut it down to the floor. And then to the best of your ability, walk it out very gently. And come back to center. Open your feet really wide. Ooh. Take your hands to your hips and roll your thighs open gently. And flex your feet and the knees shining straight up to the ceiling. And then gently take a little fold. I think it's super useful here. And you can just chill and heavy down through your backside again. Wiggle your feet. Have a long broad back and think about that. Feel the waist coming down. It should be luxurious. It shouldn't be a ton of work. It shouldn't be a ton of effort. And when you're ready, come on up. And then find your Pose the other way. So 
So left foot's gonna come in, right foot's gonna come up top. We'll give you a little bit more work. And then we pull heavy down. You're gonna miss out if you're really rolling forward and you're eking over your knees, so try to be heavy. Kind of sweet, and you've just woken up and your back's a little cranky. And we're just gonna deepen your back, inhale. And then repeat, we're going to the left this time, walk on over. Get your fingers, take your hand behind your head, and lift up, shine. Maybe a little shoulder drop. And then just shut it down. A little bit easier. Maybe you knee. Maybe with your right hip. And stay where you're good if you're happy. Just meet up later. And if you're not, just keep working through whatever it is, whatever you're dealing with. To the right, and behind your head for support, lift, shine, open, look, long, chest rolls, through the navel, down, spiral, over. Heavy. And then back to center. Three breaths. Take it easy, be chill. Maybe a little farther. Namadakonasana. So butterfly pose. Um, I like to kind of pop my wings out a little bit and open up, resettle. You can take this really wide too, which is super great if you just don't feel like putting your head to your toes, or maybe you just can't. You can take a kind of wide tarasana. Take your hands to your feet if you like. Under a little more. Really, your elbows down, and then head and chin are lifting, and then just really push yourself down. And you'll stay as long as you feel comfortable there. It shouldn't be painful. It should be easeful. Um, you may get sensation that maybe it's a little bit of a stretch. Not so much, it hurts. And if you need more, you go more. You bring your heels in towards your groin and you fold yourself over. And deep in breath. And when you're ready, we'll meet. We'll begin a child's pose and we'll wrap up. This time, child's poses, knees together. And you can even take your hands and kind of spin your thigh bones together instead of letting them just lay out. Toes are gonna to touch as much as possible. If you can, lift up your ribs, get long through the front spine, and take a fold into a really close child's pose. Heavy down your elbows, spread your fingers a little bit. Keep breathing there. Keep lengthening the front spine forward, hugging the elbows down. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Fill your nose if you can without opening your mouth. And soft breath at Ujjayi sounds like a tire letting out its air on the exhale. It's like, like a shh. When you're slowly going to retent your fingers as you did at the beginning of class. And you're going to take your left arm like you're threading the needle and carve out a space and you can grab your hip or your foot and look under. And that might require you to pull yourself up over, grab your ribs, resettle. Find space first, find the foot first, and then we fold. Deep rhomboid stretch. I'm crazy if you're not wearing deodorant or if you have a lot going on in the chest department. So make space, make room, make it work. It could be up a little higher. For me, it's a little bit lower. Just a sweet twist. 
Then you come up and through, take a lifted twist, keep pulling those ribs through, keep trying to get your hands to your heart center. Don't let your neck be all floppy. Be strong, lift your head, and then other side. You don't have to spin. Lift up the ribs, fold down a little bit. Carve the space for the right hand to come through. Grab the heel, drop the elbow, walk it out. Move the belly, just the thighs. And I know it's kind of a lot to just listen, to just breathe to be in the quiet space, but you're doing work. Bend your right elbow, flick it over, bend your palms. By pushing into the right elbow, your chest spins. Don't look at the ceiling, it's too much. Take it down to the floor. And if you're doing this on your own, just three to five breaths. You can even cut this down to five minutes. And then right back to the beginning, open your knees, touch your big toes together, fluff your belly, drop it down. Maybe the hands are gonna walk out for a minute, and then maybe they walk around. And you just relinquish, surround the bed with mat. Roll onto your back and have some chance some time if you like. Regardless, thank you very much. Namaste. And have a lovely day. If you have any requests or any needs, let me know. I'm here to help.